So for the past few days, Adidas has been teasing on Twitter some sort of announcement with Miami Hurricanes football. And finally today, they dropped the news and there's a new uniform combo. Let's check it out. What's going on, Canes fans? That's right, a new Miami Knights uniform combo by Adidas for the Miami Hurricanes. I guess this would technically be uh, Miami Knights 3.0, I think. I think this might be the third variation of the Miami Knights. And I feel like the previous years have been sort of hit or miss with Canes fans, but that's always the case when it comes to uniforms with the Miami Hurricanes because... Uh, Miami fans tend to uh, hate everything when it comes to apparel and different things. I'm, I, listen, I'm just being real, okay? I'm a Canes fan myself, but I'm just being honest here. Uh, so let, let's go over and check out the announcement from Adidas. They actually revealed a little 45-second video, and what we're going to do is we're going to watch it together, react to this new alternate uniform combo, and then we're actually going to take some still images from this and zoom in and break it down and see if we notice any Easter eggs or anything that maybe we missed in the video. So I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to be quiet during the actual video and not talk, and then we'll maybe rewind and take a look at some things. So here was their announcement, Neon Lights, Miami Knights on sale 8 15 22. So in a couple days, they're going to be dropping these out to the public. And I'm guessing maybe some extra gear as well that might be neon themed, I guess, maybe. Anyways, let's let's check it out. Miami Knights jersey reveal. Here we go. I can already tell, though, I like the curse of Miami on the helmet here. Uh, let, let, let's watch it and then we'll break it down. Okay, okay. Popping it up, let's go. Ending with the neon you. Okay, so uh, initial impression, I did watch this earlier today. You're actually going to see if you scroll below this tweet. Um, I had actually tweeted a response to this. Uh, but I didn't really focus on it and break it down and pay a lot of attention to this. So I'm, I'm going to turn the volume down a little bit. And I want to point out some things that we noticed. I think that this announcement overall, the way they filmed it, was very well done. Lots of shots of South Florida, Miami, and of course, tons of neon, right? I love how deep the orange and green is on these gloves. I definitely like what they did here with those. And the thing is, it, it almost does kind of have a, a glow effect to it almost. But is that actually how it's going to look, you know, possibly under the lights on the field? Or are they adding some additional lighting here to really amplify that effect? for this reveal. I don't know. Hold on, let's back up a little bit here. So the neon outline kind of for the U with the black in the center and it's just the outline here. It looks like the numbers are green with the outline orange. But then up on the shoulder pads, it's different. No, it's not, it's the same, it's the same. It was just the angle. Honestly, honestly, I dig it. I like it. Let me let me look at some of the responses, and then we're going to look at some of the pictures for it. Honestly, I dig it. I, I think what Canes fans always forget is they, they always want to say, stop messing with the uniforms. This is an alternate uniform, guys. It's literally probably going to be worn one time for some primetime night game. It's an alternate uniform uniform so i don't see a problem with you know changing up the font and the logo and all that stuff for an alternate uniform one time it's not that big of a deal guys they're not changing the u logo permanently or changing the font permanently or anything like that 
Uh, let's see. I want to read some of the responses. Not bad. The Nike Pro Combat we wore is is your fave. These don't compare. Okay, it's going to be a ton of stuff about Nike. Uh, there's Shelton. He's down with it. Uh, helmet is nice. The rest is trash. I knew it. I knew it. Canes fans are probably not going to like this. Uh, these suck. Why mess with the best helmet in the country? Eduardo. It's an alternate uniform. You don't want it to look exactly the same because then everyone's going to say it's the same as the normal uniform. Right? Bryce is on board. Let's go, Bryce. Uh, orange numbers, please. I guess actually that wouldn't be horrible. If it was orange numbers with a green outline, potentially. The green, yeah, I actually, I, I might possibly agree with that. The orange might pop a little bit more. That's actually a good point, Tim. Uh, we got Nate in the building in here. More picks. <laughs> Steve, Steve, what does this mean? Drippy, I guess. Maybe. I think this is. I think he likes him. I think that's what he's saying. Uh, I would go back to the unis they wore. Here we go. Here we go, Ken. In the 80s and the 90s. Uh, guys, I don't really want to have this argument on this video, but a lot of people... Here's the reason why a lot of Canes fans, I believe, want Nike back so bad. Because they... When they see Nike, they associate that with winning. Now, there, there, there were some horrible, terrible, ugly Nike uniforms released for the Canes. Adidas has had some swing and a miss also, but so has Nike. But then it's funny because then Canes fans want to say, well, the unis don't matter. That doesn't win you games. And you're right. It doesn't. I'm going to keep it real. Honestly, all that matters at the end of the day is that the kids get hyped up by this because they're going to be the ones rocking it on game day. For me, I get that they release fan apparel as well. For me, I personally love Adidas, but it's a personal preference thing. Nike fan apparel is too big. Even when I buy a small, yes, I wear a size small. I'm a smaller frame dude. Nike stuff is too large on me. It's too baggy. The Adidas stuff fits me just right. So personally, I prefer the quality and the fit and the look of Adidas gear. They don't always knock it out of the park. Do they really need to give us more attention than they do? Absolutely. I think that they should. But you're not going to please everybody at the end of the day because it's always just personal preference. Let's actually take a look. Forget that. Let's take a look at some of the pictures. Let's dissect this a little bit and see if we notice anything possibly that we missed. I love what they've done with the helmet here. I like spacing this out and the, it's the thinner lines because it looks like neon. So you've got like a silver or gray stripe in the middle, then black, and then you've got uh, the orange and green, which gives it kind of a neon effect. And then the, the cursive on the helmet just looks sick. Orange outlined in green. I dig that. Uh, looking, taking a closer look at the front. Now, these aren't going to be super high quality images, guys, because it's stills from the video so hopefully adidas later releases some actual like high quality pics that we can look at oh uh, the face mask of course we're probably not going to get to actually rock these anyways it looks like there's a faint u in it unless that's a reflection but that looks pretty sick uh, orange lines up on the shoulder pads a uh, shield in the middle with a green u green adidas logo and green numbers outlined in orange i still that's got me thinking about the potential orange numbers with the green outline if that would have potentially popped a little more. Uh, but, I mean, it, it looks pretty good. I'm not mad at it. Wait a minute. The gloves. It looks like the gloves form a neon U whenever you throw it up. It, it's got to, right? Here's the orange. I bet it's green. We'll look on the next picture if we can see that. Regular white Adidas logo here on the pants. And same effect from the helmets that carries over. So, orange and green thin stripe. Down the side of the pants. We can see a little bit better that orange thin stripe on the shoulder pads. I think this next one shows it even a little bit better. Okay, so there's a little bit more there than what originally we thought. So there's actually some palm trees that appear to be blowing in the wind. Very South Florida vibe. That's pretty cool. And then with some gray or silver stripes around it. Are they both left and right on the shoulders orange? They are. Okay, both of those are orange. Uh, and it does, in fact, create a U with the gloves. So we got the orange over here on the left or on the right, and then the green over here on the left. And then, of course, you can see that kind of neon look over here. Honestly, this would, which this is when we would rock these, would be at night for the Miami night. So we would wear it in a night game, most likely, if we can land, you know, a primetime matchup. Uh, maybe against FSU, 
Picture this, guys. These against FSU, Hard Rock Stadium, 8 p.m. kickoff on ABC. That would be huge, man. Big time. I don't, I'll put it this way. I don't absolutely love it, but I don't hate it either. I, I mean, maybe I would change up the colors just a little bit, but otherwise, I like the neon vibe. And uh, I think this is pretty fire overall. I mean, if, if they're going to release some additional merch for this, I probably wouldn't buy the jersey itself, but I would definitely buy some neon-themed Canes merch, which I think could look pretty sick. But I'm, I'm not mad at it. Let me know down in the comments section how you feel about these. And you can be brutally honest because there's going to be the old heads that are like, nah, Coop, like, we got to get back to basics. We got to get back to Nike and that old school look. But at the end of the day, man, I feel like you got to get with the times. And, you know, these guys, the, the unis don't win you the game, but it does kind of pump them up. It gives them an opportunity to wear something different. And I understand that there are going to be people that pop in the comment section and explain to me, but Coop, look at maybe Alabama. They usually don't do anything too flashy, and they're consecutively playing for championships and this and that. But I don't, I don't care what Bama's doing, guys. I don't. When it comes to the uniforms, it's not a make or break. Just like you guys like to say, it's not. So spicing it up and doing something a little different and fun with an alternate uniform. Now, if they were going to do something like this, guys, and it was our every every game uniform, yes. Then, in fact, I would probably have a problem with it. But for an alternate uniform, something you very rarely wear one time per season, I'm okay with mixing it up and changing it up every single season to kind of hype these guys up, give them something excited uh, to wear or make them excited to wear something and it'd be something just different. So I'm okay with trying new things and yeah, that, that, that's literally it. I don't, I don't know what else to talk about in a video about a, a uniform reveal, but let me know. We can chop it up down in the comment section below. I just know there's going to be so many people guys that just hate these. I'm just being honest. I even went through and tweeted. Let me show you guys. Actually, L let me take you back to Twitter. Let me show you. I actually tweeted out. Uh, where, where is it? I tweeted out. Canes fans hate everything because, man, a lot of times we do. We're 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 so tough to please. Uh, I mean, what are some of the responses on this? The hate for Adidas is ridiculous. So Cody agrees. Uh, Craig agrees. Uh, don't necessarily agree with that statement. Changing on the field and actually winning a bowl is a star. I mean, yeah, of course, winning winning games is the most important thing. That's all we're worried about. Uh, Adidas did, did something similar with USF. That is actually very similar. That's pretty close. Uh, best thing you've ever said. Uh, yeah, they want 1980s. You not nah, just a trash jersey. See, again, it's always personal preference, guys. You are not going to please everyone especially when it comes to apparel and uniforms and things like that my thing is is if the players dig it if they get excited for it they like it i'm excited for them to be excited to rock these unis so i got no problem with it i like taking chances doing unique and different things when it comes to uniform combos as long as it's an alternate uni that's my take on it. I love Adidas gear. I have no interest in going back to Nike. Honestly, I would personally try Jordan or Under Armour before I would be willing to go back to Nike. There. I said it. And that's how I'm going to end this video. I know some of you want to fight me. It is what it is. Remember though, guys, we're all one big happy college football family. But at the end of the day, I got to say, it's always better when you get to rep the U. Coach Coop, peace out. I'll see y'all in the next one.